This is why you have to come to Midsummer Scream. Because <laughs> you see stuff like this. I'm Bye. Dracula! I'm the brain Dracula! <laughs> you, just, Join us. you just don't get this anywhere else. better way to kick off Midsummer Scream here at the Long Beach Convention Center than inside the Halloween Museum. If you've never been to Midsummer Scream, it's a Halloween and horror convention. Three days of everything spooky here in Southern California. And this is so cool, all this vintage Halloween. So we're gonna check this out. The official hall opens in about 20 minutes. There are haunted houses, movie screenings, panels, all sorts of horror and Halloween things to see and do. So let's go check this out and then head in here at the Long Beach Convention Center in just a few minutes. here on the show floor at Midsummer Scream in front of the LA Haunted Hayride booth, ready to explore the entire Long Beach Convention Center filled with Halloween and horror things. <laughs> I cannot wait to see the Hall of Shadows. There are panels, discussions all day long, film screenings, booths, so much fun stuff to do. And they had a mini version last year, but this is the full event. This is the first time they've had the full event since 2019. So let's go explore Midsummer Scream here at the Long Beach Convention Center. We are here in front of the Hall of Shadows. This is my favorite part of Midsummer Screen. There's over a dozen walk-through haunted attractions and displays.
Beer Farms Mini Hunt here at Midsummer Scream. Fantastic. It was something like you'd see at Knott's or Universal. Beer Farm is out in Phelan, outside of like Hesperia area. We went last year. I'll link a video down in the description of this one. You have to do it. It's worth the drive, worth going out. It's a family-run haunt at a ranch out in Phelan. Probably better than anything you're going to see anywhere else. So this was amazing. I wasn't expecting that at all. That was <laughs> Productions based out of Rancho Cucamonga. Again, theme park quality. People jumping on bungees, trees that were moving. If you've never been to Midsummer Scream and Love Halloween, these little mini haunts are about a minute to walk through, but it's worth the price of admission alone. They do such an amazing job. That one was really good.
the Halloween Horror Nights booth. Eugene is taking a photo. My just came through the email. I'll put it in right about now. We'll see what it looks like. I, I pretended to be scared. I was like, like that. But it was actually just my real face. So. <laughs> Resort? me about this particular house is um, that we get to do history. You know, I'm a big history nerd, and, and what really excited me about Scarecrow was the setting of where it takes place, which is the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. Anybody familiar with the Dust Bowl? And it suddenly dawned on me that what we were really doing was an ecological horror story, right? And I like the idea of like nature trying to reclaim itself. So that's why you see all the vines crawling up the farmhouse. But then I also started zeroing in on crows because technically crows are supposed to be afraid of scarecrows, but in this particular house, they are in league together. When I gave this to my art director, production designer, Chris Williams, give it up for Mr. Williams. I gave Chris all of the research, all of the pictures I pulled, and then he designed our farmhouse. This is the original elevation. You see all the crows lining the roof. You see the vines overtaking the house. And then we turn that into a color elevation, which looks like this. I'm gonna run you through the characters real quick. These are our baseline scarecrows. And then these are what we call dusty crows. So they're like covered in that, in that topsoil that's blowing all over where they're all chalky looking. And these are the skeleton crows and the seepy crows. So these are the ones that 
were human not so long ago, but the blood from their wounds is still seeping through their scarecrow wrappings. Beast Crow and Barn Crow. And these are the humans that are being turned into scarecrows. These are our cocoon crows. Well, who's behind this? Like, what's causing all this? There has to be somebody leading these scarecrows. So we decided to invent uh, a character that didn't exist in the previous version in Orlando. Um, somebody that would be behind all of this. We call him King Crow. Yeah. So that is it here from Midsummer Scream, Saturday afternoon, 2022. The first full Midsummer Scream since 2019. Had a blast. If you've never been, you saw the show floor. You saw the Hall of Shadows with all the haunted attractions. There are panels, there are live shows, there are movie screenings, there are celebrity signings. Anything haunt, Halloween and horror related you could possibly think of is here at Midsummer Scream, and it was a busy day too. Had a ton of fun. If you've never been, I highly, highly, highly recommend coming out and getting tickets. So a ton of fun here at Midsummer Scream. Thank you for having us out. We have a blast every single year. We've been here every year since the beginning, and we appreciate it. Kurt, Kermit, happy Halloween. Happy Miss Piggy, happy Halloween. Oh, happy Halloween. <laughs> did you have a fun day here at Midsummer Scream? I certainly did. So if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not following us on social media, you can find us at the Funnel Cake Blog on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thanks for watching.